In this section of the financial analysis, let's look at debt and interest payments. So we're going to set this up here, and before I start filling in the area down below, I just want to quickly freeze the panes here. If I click on View, and I click on Freeze Panes, it freezes in the left side and the top side of wherever my cursor is. So the reason I've done that is, while I still scroll down here, I still want to see what year we're in. So I've frozen the panes, and what I'm going to do down here is create a new section called Debt Assumptions. And the first thing I'm going to do is the loan amount. And let's say it's going to be 5 million. Just make sure that's formatted as a number. So I'm going to type 5 million. Then we're going to have the term. In this case, let's say it's a five year loan. And then we have the rate. Let's say it's four and a half percent. And then I'm going to select these numbers and I'm going to change the font color. to be the standard blue that I'm using. And then I'm going to make a little schedule down here where I've got the opening balance of debt, the total payment, the interest payment, the principal, and the closing balance. So we're going to learn a few different formulas here. So the first thing that I want to do is just link the opening balance to be the loan amount, $5 million. Then we're going to use Excel's PMT function, which calculates the total payment. So what I need to do here is link to the rate, which I lock with F4, comma, the number of periods, which is 5, and I lock with F4, comma, the present value of the loan, the present value is the amount, $5 million and then I close bracket. So that's the total payment, is the combination of interest and principal. Let's calculate the IPMT, interest payment, which as you can see, what it's prompting me for here requires the rate, which I'll lock with F4. Period is the current period we're in. So I'm actually gonna link that to a cell right above. There's nothing in that cell yet, but we're gonna fill in the period number just right after this, comma, and as the number of periods, the term, F4, and then the present value, 5 million, F4, close bracket. Now it's not working because I don't have a 1 in there yet. 1 being the first period. I'm going to make that blue, and then I'm going to set this equal to prior period plus 1, and I can fill that right. So now I've got the opening balance less the total payment. I've broken out the interest payment. Once I know the interest payment, I can take the difference between the total payment and interest, and that has to be the principal because those are the only two types of payments. Finally, I can calculate the closing balance, which is the opening balance, plus any principal repayment that's made. Next period's opening balance is equal to last period's closing balance. The rest of the formulas can simply be copied over to the right. And once I have all these in place and I select these cells out to five years, if I press Control R, I should hit zero at the closing balance at the end of the fifth year. Great. That means it's working correctly. I can still copy it over further. However, I get some error messages that I need to tidy up. So what we're actually going to say here is, I'm going to wrap an if statement around this. If the opening balance is greater than zero, then I need to calculate the payment. Otherwise, just put zero there. So if I fill this right, let's see what happens. It sets those equal to zero. 
Let's do the same thing with IPMT if the opening balance is greater than zero. Calculate the interest payment otherwise. We turn zero. And I'm going to fill that right. And now that I've done that, I see that everything gets zeroed out, which is perfect. So for financial modeling purposes, there's no opening balance, no interest, no principal, and the closing balance is zero. I can actually copy this all the way to the end of our worksheet. And we can now play around with this a little bit. Let's say that I want to make it a 10-year term loan. Well, it pushes it out 10 years now. Let's say I want to change the amount to be 10 million instead of 5 million. I see the payments adjusted for that. I can play with the interest rate. So this is very dynamic. This is how you use the if statement in combination with PMT function and IPMT functions.